Hello, 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 and happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to Paper Boy. It is Nicholas. This week, our topic is on um, testosterone and the potential negative health effects caused by testosterone. And does testosterone shorten your life? Okay, so this question is a little bit of a loaded question for me, so I'm going to take it in a couple of different areas. So just bear with me while I yak about it. Okay, so firstly, um, physiologically, yes, there are different um, potential uh, health concerns for people that run on an estrogen-dominant system and people that run on a testosterone-dominant system. Okay, so people that run on a testosterone-driven system are more open to heart diseases, arterial disorders, venous disorders, uh, stroke, um, and I think diabetes. Um, high blood pressure is also um, a risk. Um, but what you can do is take that information if you know, okay, I'm going to be taking testosterone for the rest of my life. So I am now more at risk for high blood pressure. I'm now more at risk for heart disease. I'm now more at risk for stroke. What you can do is take that information and ad adjust your lifestyle accordingly. So you can exercise more. You can eat better. You can really accommodate to your body. Um, and, you know... It, yes, there is the possibility that you might live three years less than before you started taking testosterone. That's always a possibility. And, you know, any time that you are putting anything inside your body, anything, uh, food, nutrition, vitamins, uh, any pharmaceuticals, hormones, anything is going to chemically change your body in some way, shape, or form. Okay, and testosterone is going to do that. It is going to change your body. Your your veins are going to harden, your arteries are going to harden, your blood's going to become thicker, and this is what's going to uh, open you up to um, the potential of the heart diseases and stroke and things like that. Okay, so, you know, like I said, you just adjust your lifestyle accordingly if you decide that that is a risk that you're willing to take. And... Alongside with that, there are also the potential health risks if you still have your original internal female anatomy. Um, you know, there's always the potential that you might have to have a hysterectomy at some point in time because complications could happen there. Um, you know, there's, there's a whole host of things that could happen with that. Um, and that is a potential risk, yes. Um, also depending on your route of administration, um, there's also risks that come along with that. The highest risk being if you are injecting it with a needle every week. Um, you know, there are always risks with poking yourself uh, with a needle every week. So you need to learn how to do it properly. You need to have a doctor show you. Um, there's also lots and lots and lots of um, YouTube videos that are made by nurses and doctors and medical professionals um, that can show you proper places to inject depending on whether you're doing subcutaneous or intramuscular, which those each have their own set of risks. So you really need to research, you know, your route of administration and, um, you know, the possible effects and what's going to be appropriate for you. Now... Having said all of that, um, I will tell you, now this is personal anecdotal story. This is not based on medical research. This is just me. Um, I have been on testosterone for two years, um, and it uh, actually balanced me out quite a bit. Um, I was not very balanced uh, physically or mentally. Um, in the couple of years before I started taking testosterone. Um, I started when I was like, I think 30. And so um, I was almost kind of starting to go through some weird like second female puberty thing. And <clears throat> my body got really, really wonky. And um, it made me super uncomfortable. Um, so that's right about when I started to take testosterone. And it balanced me out like that. 
I uh, mentally, I came back down to here, and I've just kind of been on a stable plane. Um, physically, all of the health issues that I was struggling with uh, before I started taking testosterone just kind of went away. They balanced out. Um, now, I have, my blood pressure has gone up a little bit. Um, but I accommodate accordingly. I exercise every single day and I eat um, fairly healthy. I eat, you know, about 80% healthy, 20% crappy. Um, but I make sure that I take care of my body very, very well um, because I know that I am at risk for, you know, heart diseases and stroke and all of that stuff. Um, so for me, I balanced out you know, up until this point. Who knows what could happen later. Um, but, you know, you really, you need to um, look at, um, look at the possibilities, you know. Do you want to be on testosterone and, you know, possibly be at risk for, you know, heart disease and all the, all that other fun stuff? Or, you know, do you not want to take testosterone and are you fine with where you're at? Um, now, for me, it would have been a much, much higher risk for me to not take testosterone because it would have mentally just destroyed me. Um, so, I'm if you want to take those five years off of my life, take them. I'm happy now. So, I would rather live, you know, another 50 years happy than another 60 years miserable. Um, so, that's kind of where I stand with that. Um, yeah, so, you know, those are all just kind of things that you need to think about and, you know, decide what works for you. Now, we have the internet and there is, you know, you can do, you can do so much re research on, um, every single type of testosterone or ho hormone or whatever it is that you're, um, thinking about taking. You can really, really... Uh, get into it on the internet and really look into the side effects and you know you can read people's anecdotal stories to see you know how it affected them and just you know put a lot of thought into it before you decide what's right for you and you know whether or not you want to do it all right I think that is it for this week thank you for listening to my horrendously long rant I will see you next Thursday